this video, I'm going to cover the prerequisites that you need in order to get started with Keras. So just a bit of an intro, Keras is a high-level neural network API that is written in Python. And because it's written in Python, it's able to run on all major operating systems. So whether you're running Windows or Linux or Mac, anything that can handle Python will be able to run Keras. In my subsequent Keras videos, though, I will be working on a Linux machine just out of preference. All right, so let's move on to the prerequisites that are needed to be able to work with Keras. So Keras is both CPU and GPU compatible. So if you are going to be training on smaller data sets or really simple data sets, then most likely you'll be fine with using just your CPU. Otherwise, if you're going to be training on more complex data or large data, then you're going to need a GPU. And with that, you will need to install QDNN, which is NVIDIA's deep neural network library. So after that, you'll need to, of course, install Python. I personally recommend installing Anaconda, which is a Python distribution. It just makes things a bit easier. And currently, Keras is compatible with Python version 2.7 to 3.5. So after you've got Python, you'll need to install a backend engine. So Keras supports three different types of backends. It supports Theano, TensorFlow, or CNTK. By default, Keras is configured to use TensorFlow as its backend. So if you're going to be changing to either Theano or CNTK, then you'll need to change some Keras configurations after installing it. And I actually have another video already posted that explains how to do this process for switching from TensorFlow to Theano. And the process will be almost exactly the same for switching from TensorFlow to CNTK as well. So after you've installed the backend engine, the next step is to install Keras itself. You'll also need to have a coding environment for you to write your Python code, so an IDE that supports Python. So I personally will be working with Jupyter Notebook in my subsequent videos for working with Keras, um, and that's actually what this display is in right now. It's just an interactive scientific notebook that uh, you're able to write Python code in and uh, interact with it as such. It also has these markdown features, which is what I'm using right now to display this outline here. And lastly, an optional library that you can install is HDF5 and H5Py. And those are required if you want to have the ability to save your Keras models to disk. So I hope you found this video helpful. In subsequent videos, I'm going to actually be starting to code with Keras and we'll get into actually making neural networks and uh, deep learning models. So I hope you come back for those. If you found this video helpful, please like the video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. And thanks for watching.